YouTube. Welcome back, welcome back. Starting off with this Ionia Swamp. Jumping right in. Literally just pause the recording, start it back up again. There isn't a whole lot of stuff here, but we do want to run to these ruins, grab this um this spell. It's not there, or is it there? It is there. Take our way down here. Into the chest. For the rock sling. There's gonna be some guys probably on the stairs. They were on the stairs last time. Shouldn't be a problem to deal with. Got the traveler set. Here past the grace and make our way to the left here. I believe there is another grace and a merchant. Merchant doesn't have much of anything. It's got a couple of uh bolises if you want them. But what we really want it is a ash of war. Should be I can hear it. Well, regardless, the Ash of War is... I cannot remember now. There it is. I don't know why my weapon was away, but... I still fist. make our way up this direction and stay on the road got to deal with those guys which is not that big of a deal follow up here I would obviously do want to try to avoid if you can but going right through them we're not scared oh, the wrong direction here there we go Let's see the castle, where we're headed. First things first. Head in between these two guys. Grab the uh, flame, grant me strength. Kill that guy if you like. Not gonna do it. And he knocked me down, so it's whatever. We wanted to run anyways. So we're gonna head over this way. Come down here. Kill this guy. There's a guy right here. Oh, can't see him. Up the ladder. Across the way. There's a guy right there. I don't know what happened to him, but. here. Something to do, because there's a couple guys up here. My, um, my summon is distracted by the, um, eye down below. Heirloom. And we don't need to go upstairs. There's a teleporter upstairs that takes you to the capital or the castle. The Red Man Castle. We're not going that way, we're going this way instead. Our guy's gonna jump down and start fighting the uh, lioness, the lion. He's got a mind of his own. Here. Go down the stairs and grab the item. Right back up. Down over here to the left. Grab the guitar. And head down and help your tier. A 
for the Wine Squaw. Make our way out. There's nothing of real significance in this area. Not exactly sure what this Ash of War is, but pick it up if you want to. And down here to the right. Behind the big plant, it's key door. Gale Cave. I'd rather use a Runark. Use a Runark, since we haven't used one in a while. Probably don't, I don't plan on dying for a good minute. There's a lot of explodey dudes in here, but... For the most part, they shouldn't be a problem to deal with. Might get hit by them, but generally they're not going to kill you unless there's four or five of them exploding right in your face. Go way down. Use your points if you haven't. I always forget to use my points. When I start getting into areas where it's not axing, it feels like. Fall down here. Kill everything because when you come back through here, anything that's alive is going to mess with you while you're grabbing all the stuff. The only thing we're really after is this chest in here, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the cross Naginata. It's not. It's up here though. I'll open up the store. Oops. Why you open up the door? So that doesn't happen, and then you end up having to run through all of that stuff again. It's not there. Not this way, I think to the left. It's in one of these. Sword key. There it is. Wakasashi. Not not Rasnaginata. Are we in? The, we're in the cave. Yeah. There should be a alloy. Alloy. A low radio shield in one of these as well. It's not this one. Stone key and I don't think it's up this way. Set these things down so I know where I'm going. Open. 
This is the boss room, but it's a shield. I can't remember if it's down there. Well, it's not down there. We just left it. It's not something I'm going to be using anyway. It's not like a legendary or nothing, so. Which corpse ashes and the way out. So it seems like well, there is another um, Rogalia, but like a And there's one other shield somewhere in there. Can't also can't remember exactly, but you want to go search it for it again. Tunnel. I've already been through Gale Tunnel and got Moon Veil. If you haven't, you can. Also, in the Forsaken Ruins is the St. Trina, Trina sword. Go ahead and grab that if you want. It's down in the um, it's down in the ruin, like inside. Where we're gonna be heading is this way. Making our way to the Cave of Catacombs. Down this way, and there should be yeah, a tree here that you can climb, and head over this way, and we go. I guess this, this isn't technically the catacombs, this is the abandoned cave. We'll do the catacombs next. This place is kind of a pain. I would use this. Make your way through here. You can back backstep through these swamps, or you can um, just quick step. Get to them easier. I prefer to just backstep. Um, healing is probably ideal as well. Serpent bow. Get me these guys. Stragglers. A couple of talismans, a uh, gold scare talisman and a venomous, or just the one, the gold scare talisman, and I believe a venomous fang weapon from the uh, boss fight here. And if you picked it up along the way, I picked up the serpent bow as well. It's not a hard boss fight, believe it, just one dude. Or there's two of them, I guess. I guess there's two of them. Here I believe the venomous thing is probably at the very beginning, the entrance. Okay. 
continuing on. Make our way down here. That way, all the way down. Pull the pass. Should be right here. Off to the right. We need to go down even further. Out of this rock here. We need to go down there. Follow the road all the way down to the tee-off. Right next to the white dog. Grab the Ash of War, or I believe this is an Ash of War. That's the smithing stone. The Ash of War is over by the, uh... It's over by the crates on the other side. this up. Run way through here. I believe this is a false wall. And open up the door. Get hit by that. You can avoid it. I grab me. Get the kindred rod ashes. Make our way back out. Oh, we don't want to leave just yet because there is one other thing we want to grab it here. This way, head in here, the right, the door, false wall, and get the Miranda Sprout Ashes. Then head back out. You can grab those on your way in. I just wanted to take care of the boss real quick. Trying to, trying to move fairly quickly, get as much stuff done as possible. Want to get through these areas as quick as I can, so we're not wasting a bunch of time, you know. Pick up the Ash of War, um, Red Blade, of course, enemies in their damn magnet block. Imagine fighting somebody, right, in PvP, and like whenever they run a certain direction or move a certain direction, you're automatically locked onto them. I mean, you are still locked onto targets, but... Activating your attack at the perfect time so that you hit no matter what. Must be nice. Right, what I want to do is head into the Red Man Castle. We're finishing some stuff in here. Haven't done yet. First off, the head up here. Not exactly sure. I did and didn't do in here, but I know I did. Close to what I did in, in my walkthrough prep, so. Pretty much the same stuff. I grab the flame burge. Go up here just to make sure I didn't forget to grab this talisman. It's not talisman, it's smithing stone. Okay. That. Back down. 
this level, this stage of the game, none of this should be that difficult. take out everything, really. Now, you can't summon a dude and there's two guys in here. This might be the most difficult part of the entire thing, but if you do it properly, you should be able to take them both out. them. I go in here, take off this page. Grab the gold ruin. Don't need to grab it. I thought it was another item. Plenty. I was going to kill that scarab, but I need to. Do I remember cookbook four? Do you remember cookbook five? You can take the quote unquote long way up here and catch this guy off guard. Ladder. Didn't really need to go up that direction, to be honest. This way. I'm going to get torched by fires. Head, head over to the right here. Probably be the easiest way to keep from getting torched. I'm only grabbing the grace to reset aggro. Run up here. Don't need to kill the virgin. She's not going to give you anything worthwhile. And on top of that, there's no items or anything in there, so. They just want to make our way up here. something over here? I can't remember if there's some over here or not. This is the same area where the virgin appears right over there. It's pretty much just the way back around if you want to get to the race easier after doing all that stuff. And that's it for that area. Head into Delia's Crystal Tunnel. Because I'm almost positive I haven't finished her questline yet. Or not her questline, but I haven't finished the, um, stuff in here. Not Celia. This is the wrong tunnel. It's the Selena tunnel, which is here. I 
Oh, actually, I haven't been finished Celia's tunnel either. I'll run through here. Hopefully, you took care of some of this stuff in past episodes. I'm going back and touching up this stuff just to try and get a couple extra, some extra points for levels and things. Oh, I almost fell down. Falling down there would not be fun. That arm guy is down there and he hits hard. Want to make our way down here to the boss fight. Up here to the right, I believe there's a chest. Could be wrong. Not a chest, but an item. It's kind of tough. I would kind of get set up beforehand, which is what I'm going to do. I go in here, well, technically set up beforehand. I'm going to summon my guy, and then I'm going to, I guess I could use this right away. And I'm going straight for the mage. Straight for the mage. I thought that was the mage. It's not. This is the mage. Part of the reason why this is so difficult is because of the Scarlet Rock. Crystal Turret. It's a meh spell, especially for having to fight all three of those guys. I'll make our way over to the Celia Crystal Tunnel because I, I do need to finish it off. The, um, guy is in here. I think I might have already taken out the actual, um, the boss. Because I was irritated with him. See, I think that was the magma worm. But I have, oh, I have already been through here because I got that item up there. On the ledge. If you leap right here, you can make that jump. And there's an item on that ledge that you can pick up. There aren't any secrets in this cave. Since I got that item, it makes me think I've already gotten everything in here. I've already opened up that chest, even. The only thing I need to get is the boss. Talisman over there, you're up. And the boss, I guess I already fought him. Yeah, kind of made it through here for nothing. I don't know why I had the sparker on there still, but. Make our way up here. To the church. I'm gonna take out this archery. Shit. 
shouldn't be a problem. You got caught. You get caught in that like I did. I have a bad time. That, uh, that rot is no joke. Side of that, fairly easy fight. Burst crystal tear and the flame shrouding crap too. Make our way into the the Gertry catacombs. Double check and see what is in here. So it just looks like a mini boss. A watchdog boss and he drops the mad pumpkin pumpkin head ashes, so Looking for that specific ash. It's gonna be here. I don't know if you guys mind if I'm running past everything. I mean, these enemies are just really. You look at it, I made 200 from that, and they're just an annoyance. They're just. They hit you, they stun you constantly. It's not, not worth my time to fight, right? They were worth like a thousand each, that would be different, but. Fortunately, they are not. Now we want to make our way down here. There's one just like straggler. I might take him out. For the most part, I'm just dodging and weaving. Taking my way to the boss fight. Okay. There's a couple of cats in here. Dogs. Good dogs. I know, I always I keep saying cats, but they got the mage first. Mages are always much more annoying. Mad Punkin Head Ashes. I don't know how good they are. Like, it could be quite tanky. I bet if you level them up. Personally, I haven't used them at all, so. Well, he's a big dude with a giant metal head. Um. Fortunately, I didn't get this opened up early, so we're going to be doing some running. Our favorite. I might skip it. For those of you don't know, who don't know, if you come to the Radon fight area, the um, catacomb is like right over here. It's pretty much in the red area. Just gotta run across all this wasteland to get there. over this way. Make sure it's not all the way over here.
There it is. All the way in the corner next to the water. Now this place... This place is rough. So... Any, any extra points you got sitting around? It's a good chance you probably die in here. Take a left. I'll show you the pie what I feel like is the best way to get through here. And just run around the outside here and grab this um, spell, Collapsing Star. Okay. Just kind of ignore everybody. They shouldn't mess with you. I come over here. If you want the uh, glove wart, you probably don't need it at this point. There's everywhere. You want to stay on the outside. You don't want to go near the middle if you can avoid it. Because you're going to get hit by all of these dudes. You want to try to avoid these guys as much as possible. Oh, there's a ladder or a staircase back up. Not this side. The staircase is on the other side. Just happened to be where all the guys decided to go, so... It's unfortunate. And make your way over here. You can. Open up your inventory. Try to use a bolus. The archer might try to shoot you. Just stay away from him. You're gonna get definitely targeted by this one for sure. This one I would not recommend fighting all the dudes. They've got way more oh, I died because of rot. But these guys hit extremely hard and they have a ton of HP. It's just like a taste of what you're gonna have to go up against when you decide to go into the snow area. I don't know why these ones are so much more difficult than everything else, because you don't have to come in here to go to the snow area. As you can clearly see, I've been up in the mountaintop of the Giants, and I didn't need to come through here to get there, so. Head this way. Watch this archer. He's going to oh, try to hit you. Same with this guy. Just wait till he fires. Try not to get hit by him. You can avoid it. I would recommend doing this. Jumping this way. Staying close to the edge. Bobbing and weaving. Get all the way to the end here. And most likely die. Just gonna be honest with you. Probably gonna die a couple of times. Nah, not. I don't wanna go out that way. I don't believe. Head back over here. Now, this isn't it either. It was the other one. Oh, I'm so dead. I'll have my heels up. Yes, I want to come out here. I believe one of these is false wall. No, it's not. I lied. It's not a false wall. Come up here. Pick up the ashes. Put on soldier ashes. Like I said, you're probably going to die in here. It's inevitable. Maybe you see how much damage I'm doing. Absolutely nothing to this guy. Gonna pull the lever. And if you want, just haul that straight across. They have magnet aim, so they're going to hit you. Damn near everything. Walk past them. And get ready to go in. What is in here? Ultra-rated tree spirit, future tree spirit, more or less.
take care of him, get the red and no gash. And we use the seat. After that, where I plan on heading is the Divine Tower. I'm gonna go pick up the um Great Rune from there. But that's gonna be in the next one. Alright guys.